serve them dinner, and we treat them like it's a restaurant, not like we're feeding them, like not just for community service hours. I saw a man sitting by himself all the way in the corner, and I bought him a plate of dinner and decided to sit with him and talk to him. He was wearing a Jets jersey, and I said, oh, do you like the Jets? And we started talking about football, and um, he just likes it because he forgets like the hard times he's gone through. Uh, and I use football to like enjoy watch but he uses it to get through like his life. It's really amazing to go over there and be able to give these mainly men and some women food every time and I don't know, it just really touches your heart. Someone who had grown up in such a violent culture, like was able to restart and like learn about God and you know start a faith over like you know, like a, a newborn. That's cool. Well, I think it it was interesting to see how the people over there were just so willing to bless other people. And so I think it was interesting to see how they're so willing to give, but a lot of the time I'm not willing to give even, I'm not even willing to spend time with someone that I'm not best friends with. who are with us um, who hadn't necessarily come from a faith-based background sort of got to see like what serving is all about and uh, and just you know sort of like got that feeling and, um, and that was a pretty cool thing just to uh, have them exposed to that and you know uh, didn't mean necessarily all of them you know became Christians but uh, it was it was great to know that at least you know something was planted within them and, and you never know you know what may happen with that so that was, that was one of the cool things about our trip. We saw this lady and we were kind of like weirded out at first because we kind of thought she was just like some crazy lady on the side of the road. And Nick and I decided to get out of the car and uh, and like start talking to her. and. Um, and she was just like a really nice lady and was just like really fun to talk to and had like a really cool story and like that like she had a life before like before the storm hit and uh how like hard like how uh, how like what a, an effect it had on her I mean, I like I've done a few soup kitchens, but it was a lot different. I'd never actually like gone to where they basically live and like see them just want to talk to us. One place, these guys were like really hyped up to see us, and they were like, "Oh, hey, some of that run!" and they got like really excited, and they stayed the whole time until we had to go to our next location. These two guys at the back of the park. They're really thankful that uh, we came, that they walked all the way back there just looking for people to serve. I feel like it's the most important part is how we're like showing the homeless people that we actually care about them. Because like you see a homeless person on the street, most people just walk by and ignore them. When you acknowledge them and you bring them food and you show that you got people's effort to like help them in some way. They, Really like that. Yeah, I mean, it was like nice to see their smiles after you like gave them something, and it seemed like something easy for us to do, but to them it was everything. 